Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the grey lag goose. The grey lag is the largest species of goose that's found in the UK. They can grow to have a wingspan of 1.6 metres and can weigh as much as 3.5 kilos. These birds are found in most wetland habitats and they're a common sight in rivers, reservoirs and urban park ponds. During the night they will also travel away from water to farmlands and meadows in search of food. Grey lags are a slate grey colour over most of their bodies with slightly darker wings. They have an orange beak and their feet are a washed out pink colour. As they are often found in and around places where people live, a lot of the urban grey lags diet is food that is provided by people, bread, seeds and other scraps, but naturally they will also eat grass, grain and sometimes aquatic vegetation. Grey lags will usually start nesting in April time when the pair make a large nest of reeds, leaves and grasses on the ground, often quite close to the water and usually well hidden amongst vegetation. The female lines the nest with soft feathers and then lays around six eggs that are about one and a half times the size of a hen's egg. The female goose will then incubate the eggs alone for 28 days whilst the male, which is known as a gander, keeps watch nearby. Baby geese are known as goslins and when they first hatch out they are covered in green to yellow downy fluff. As the incubation doesn't start until all of the eggs are laid, the goslings hatch out within a few hours of each other and once they are out of their eggs, their parents lead them straight to water. Unlike a lot of baby birds, goslings do not get fed by their parents but mimic what they do and feed themselves straight away. They have a ferocious appetite and are constantly eating. Because of this they grow very fast and look like scruffier versions of their parents after just a few weeks. However, because of their size and weight, it can take as much as 9 weeks before the goslings are able to fly. The family then spend the following winter together as a group and it's not until the next spring when the parents begin to nest again that the young goose will leave. In the UK there are approximately 46,000 pairs of grey lags and this increases to 230,000 individuals in the winter as birds that breed in Iceland migrate down. Their populations have risen by 65% over the last 25 years and there are currently no serious threats to the species. Grey lags can live for a surprisingly long time in the wild with an average life expectancy of 8 years although one ringed individual did make it to 19 years and 7 months before it died of natural causes. Well, that's everything you need to know about the grey lag goose and that's the end of this video. If you've been with my channel for a little while you may have known that I have done a grey lag video in the past but I decided to redo it because now I've got a better camera, I've got better audio equipment and I think I can make the video better in general. If you're interested to see how I've progressed there'll be a link for that old video down in the description. Um, if you did enjoy this video then check out one of these other two British wildlife videos now and subscribe to the channel for future content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.